the about the here is a special sports presentation brought to you by WPEXFM 90.9. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two. Three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Welcome, everybody, to Linhard Field here in Victoria, Virginia. Exciting Dixie Youth Baseball. Uh, Dixie Youth Tournament District 5, to be exact. Day 3. Yep, and day 3. You know, we've been here before. And it's very, very <laughs> hot outside. Great, it's me. It's about, what, about 93, 94 degrees, and that's here in the shade. Uh, let's go over there on top and hear the Tim Ruffton Heat Index. Tim, how hot is it out there? Uh, it's pretty hot. I'd say the, with the heat index, it's uh, darn near 100 degrees up here. <laughs> I know it's hot there was earlier. And the AC here is barely keeping up, and the computers are pumping more heat. Oh, we got our first player on the field there. All right, well, I guess we're getting ready to go. This is uh, Watson that's up. Here it comes now the pitch. And as we start things out, we'll start things out with ball number one. L.J. Watson is going to be batting first, followed by Josh Pegner, uh, Malik Foster, and Ethan Hoover. And a swing and a miss on that one to Watson. Now to bring in two balls and no strikes. Of course, Prince Edward Farmville coming back from a very close game against the Charlotte County team uh, yesterday. And kind of a heartbreaker for Far Prince Edward Farmville. And they're looking to see this tournament. This is a loss bracket, so the loser does go home. On a hard hit ball, and Lunenberg and it was a nice hit into left field. And anyway, just like that, that will be in there for base hit. And that brings up Mr. Uh, Josh Payton, the shortstop for uh, Prince Edward Farmville. Matt. Pitcher is, they have here Austin Roach. Is that Roach pitch? Yep, yeah, that's Roach. Uh, no, Roach Drew. is on first. Drew, their regular that, catcher. Yeah, that Drew is, is pitch. Okay. That is Nathan Drew, I believe. That's what I thought. That's Nathan. their big left-hander. Nice. Yeah, oh, Nathan that, Drew. We, oh, that's right. He, okay, I'm sorry. They had a one by it. And it looked like a one, but actually Matthew they had a Drew. pitch. No, it's Matthew Nathan. Drew. No, All right, that's in there for ball number two. I want to make it very clear. I was told by the parent it's Nathan, Nathan Drew yeah, this morning. Nathan I, Drew. I got told. His mother just said. said. I've already messed that up a couple of times. I'm going to try to get it right from now on. Nathan Drew. Nathan winds up. Here comes down the pitch. High, and it's going to be in there ball three. Three balls and no strikes. Boy, and Farmville has already got a base hit and about to walk the next player to put him on base with no outs. Yeah, not a way to start this. Uh, you don't want to start falling behind here early. Lunenburg, we all know how explosive they can be when they yeah, <laughs> when they get a chance. All right, they'll wind up from the left-hander. He will throw that one in there, but that will be ball four base on balls. With no outs, Lunenburg has got runners on first and second. That brings up Mr. Uh, Malik Foster of the bat now for the Lunenburg squad, third baseman for that team. All right, here comes down the wind-up. Swing and a miss to near strike number one. Yeah, it looks like he got a piece of it, but it went straight down to the plate. So, well, one thing about these teams, all the teams that are in in this tournament, you, you really can't count none of them out. It's not like you have a Donovan team. Now with Prince, you know, definitely not with Prince Edward Prince Edward Farmville's hitting squad, and Lunenburg is no slouch in their hitting. Either. Here comes the wind up in the pitch, and it's in there for strike number one. Eh, no balls and two strikes now. Ride it out every time. So if you know if you sit there and you have to pick a clear cut winner, you can't do that. No, not there's no. I, I, Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number three. If I was a gambling man, I'd say that Prince Edward Farmville may have the edge, but it's not by a lot. Well, Foster went down striking, and that's going to bring up Hoover for Lunenburg. He will be pitching when we get on the other side of the defense. Second baseman there, he's tied shoe. All right, here comes now the pitch to Hoover. Swing and a miss, strike one. That pitch kind of uh, curved outside on him, so 
he had uh, he, he's been finding his groove now. Yeah, it took him a little while, but now it looks like he's just doing strike after strike now. Here comes the wind up. That one's going to be a little bit low. Now being it for ball one, one ball and one strike. Hunters on first and second for Lunenburg. No score in this game as of yet here at the top of the first. Okay, here we go. Wind up. Here comes the pitch. And that was actually a foul back. Barely, barely hear it. The crowd might picking up the ting on the bat. Nevertheless, with all that sand, it's still two strikes. One ball and two strike is now the count. So what you got to do? Calm down here. Here comes Drew. Now looks, kicks up his leg and delivers the ball. Nice pitch, but a little bit high. And there, ball two, two and two is the count. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's in this inning, buddy. Get stuck here, buddy. Get stuck here. Mighty hot out here, so I know the pitchers are got to take that in consideration. Nice swing and a miss, though. Strike number three, and now bring out the second out. Maybe Drew earns his second strikeout for the day. Well, a base hit. He's turning off with a base hit, then a walk, and then two strikeouts right in a row here for Prince Edward Farmer. Yeah, Drew's really set on down on the mound. Hey, I, he's... It looks like he had a few problems on those first two batters, but I think he's in his groove now. Here comes the wind up in the oh, pitch. Hit. Hard hit ball, and foul. that will go foul. And if that would have been straightened up just on the little bit, little bit on the right hand side to, to bring it in in play, that would have been real trouble, Robbie. Yeah, that one uh, he had a lot of oof behind it when he hit it. Just went the wrong direction for uh, Nate Nolan. Yeah, I know. When I used to play ball, man, I'm gonna tell you, I hated those. <laughs> Anytime when a ball was hit right down the line, especially I played outfield, and that was oh, that was something else. Ah, you chase after it. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Oh, and he checks, ooh, swings it. Close, very but close. But that's going to be an air ball. One, one and one goes to count with two outs. Feel it. Feel it. So far, though, Drew has put him right. Pretty close, close enough yeah. that the, the catcher has had any problems actually fielding the thing. And that's kept the runners at bay on first and second. Here comes the pitch. Swing and miss. In there for strike number two. Drew's really throwing with some real great velocity. Yeah, I mean, he's gunning it down there. And these Lindenburg teams are having a hard time tracking the ball right now. Here comes the wind up, the pitch. Uh, and the strike ball. number three. Yes, he broke the plank. So we had no errors, two men left on base. And as we go to the bottom of the first right now, it's 0-0 with Prince Edward Farmville and the Lunenburg All-Stars. District 5 tournament, we will continue right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. The accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. All right, back here at Leonard Field, and uh, well, as we say by zero, it's still zero zero. So somebody's trying to look for that first score here at the bottom of the first as Prince Edward Farmville and their hitting squad will come up and try to uh, do something here and break the zero zero tie. Starting out pitching will be, I believe, Hoover. Yep.
Well, see what takes place. Got two actually very, very good pitches starting off today. And, of course, I don't think either team's going to have to hold back because there's no tomorrow. Yeah, so, you, you know, you've got to put your best got. guys up in there. Most teams, that's what most teams do when they get in this position. They put in their best players. You know, the best pitchers and everything. Yeah, we just wait for everybody to kind of wind up here. Their warm-ups and get ready to go. Okay, here comes now. Hoover's getting ready to wind up. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. And that was going to be in there for strike number one. So Hoover really starts out very well. No balls in one strike. Outfield kind of playing back. Here comes now the pitch. And that one hit the, looks like almost, Kim, it hit his arm. Yeah. I knew it hit him, but I couldn't really exactly see where. And that's, uh, well, that's going to start out for as White will be at first base. So if you want to look at it, I guess as an error or, you know, base on balls, hit by a pitch, either way, Results are the same. Runners on first base with no outs. <laughs> well, they're going to have to now see what Mr. Austin Orange can do. That's right. I believe he hit a home run in this tournament so far. He's got one underneath his belt. He did a good job. And boy, if Austin happens to hit one really, really, really high in the air, now we got a win. It's almost can carry a ball out of here. It's, uh, look at the flags and not a real super strong win, but a little bit of a win might. Uh, Help. The ball was hit out there and it had maybe two or three, four feet. Normally would drop in, might go on out of here. And I bet you, uh, as Austin Orange, you would like to go ahead, if he hits it out, I put a parachute on it. Just kind of float out. That would be nice. All right. Hoover is. Uh, trying to get a couple of extra pitches. And sometimes when a pitcher uh, hits a player by accident, he'll, you know, the umpire will give him a few shots just to practice, make sure that he's okay and, you know, that he can throw with, you know, with a fairly decent consistency. I remember a couple of years ago we had a pitcher that's just starting out pitching. He got in kind of a rough situation and hit two or three, four players. When actually nobody was serious hurt, but in other words, he just basically, you know, kind of got shook up a little bit. And then he started hitting everybody. And he wasn't aiming for him. He just having control problems. That's not in the case of this. Hoover's. We've seen Hoover pitch, and he's way above that. That's not going to be a problem. Here comes the wind up and the pitch by Hoover, and nice. Thing. And a beautiful shot. He might get the double play. Almost. Well, what a play by the third baseman. Play third. But I got to admit, he dove at that one, got it, and he almost got that runner out at uh, yeah. first base. White was lucky to make it back there with that type of throw. That'll bring up Roach. Here comes the pitch, and that one's going to be in there for ball one, one ball, and no strikes. Roach, I mean, uh, Hoover now winds up. That was going to be a little bit low in there for ball two. Here it goes to White will go down to second base. So with one out, runners on second base, Prince Edward Farmville. That catcher's arm's really hurt. Oh, boy. Well, Tim, you're a pitching expert. What do you think happened? Oh, well, that, that uh, 
that one ball uh, hits the top of that uh, catcher's hand. That's why uh, they were doing a couple warm-up pitches to see how he would react. This last pitch just really did it to him. So they're going to go ahead and make a, a, a battery change there and change that catcher out. Well, that's going to take a few minutes, so we'll pause. We'll be right back. It's nothing, nothing here at Lynn Hartfield with Dixie Youth. Exciting baseball. Don't go away, folks. Stay right where you are. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend. You were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No. Not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. To Briggs, make more friends and express their individuality. T -t when they learn to play the music, act or paint or dance or write creatively. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. <laughs> Back here at Lindhart Field, it's nothing, nothing. Got a little time out here on the field while a new catcher is being brought in. So everybody's just kind of in the field and kind of warming up just a little bit. Well, a lot of action is going to be done today because there's a lot of important games. Uh, because anytime when you have elimination day, it, all the games, you know, are important. But uh, we got this one here, uh, which is Lunenburg and the losers bracket, Lunenburg. And, of course, uh, Prince Edward Farmville. And then next game, what's our schedule look like the next game will be? Uh, winning national. Yep. Okay, folks, we, uh, okay, this is, um, wow, I can't see the, the yep. winning national is going to have to play. Um, crew Burkeville, aren't they? No, crew crew plays uh, Charlottesville last game. Charlotte, okay. All right. I'm trying to sit there and read this read this thing correctly. Well, we're at day three, so um, yeah, Lunenburg Farmville, and of course, then we got. Um, Dinwiddie Nationals, okay. Dinwiddie Nationals is going to end up um, playing Dinwiddie American. I knew I was missing somebody. That's what it was. And then, of course, later on tonight will be the final game tonight. That's going to be Charlotte and Crew. That's going to be a good game, folks. All right, here we go. I think everybody's getting pretty much set. And, and now... Um, I think it's pretty tough being back in the catching, especially when you get these really, really hard pitchers that can really zap the ball down. Bats flying around and balls flying around. Even umpires get hurt once in a while. Okay, here we go. Here comes Hoover, pitches, swing and a miss. And that's going to bring strike one, two balls and one strike. The runner's on second base. We have one out. Wind up, here comes the pitch. That one's going to be low, ball three, three balls and one strike. Lunenberg's in trouble of loading up, or actually not loading up, but actually putting another man on here with one out. Here comes out a pitch. Ah, oh, that looked good, dude. That was a nice, kind of a soft pitch. Now bring the count to full, three balls and two strikes. Few clouds in the area. Don't know what the uh, 
think we got some chances, some storms. We'll see. We hope not. Anyway, here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. That's going to be high to the outfield. Left fielder signal and catches it. And the man on second will tag up. And they run into each other. To both to, he slid in. He was fine. But uh, third baseman, kind of a light guy. He's not a real big fella. And he can move fast. But, man, he got that guy coming in there. Slid in there and kind of knocked him over, but no big deal. Nobody hurt and no harm done. So we're going to almost call that a sacrifice fly. And that's going to bring up Matthew Fitz. Here comes down a pitch, and it's in there for strike number one. Matthew Fitz is playing in the last three years, made all-stars the last three years, one in minor. Of course, last year he was was hanging in there. Here comes the next pitch. That was going to be in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Well, he's been in there and uh, throughout the, uh, like I said, last couple of seasons playing for Farmville, done an extremely good job too. Here comes down the pitch. And that's a changeup. Hard hit ball. That would go to the left fielder. He gets underneath and calls it, but nobody will score. Nice play by Lunenburg's defense has kind of been showing up here. So with that fly out, one man will be left on base as we go to the top of the second. It is nothing, nothing, and a good game here in Lunenburg. We'll be right back right after this. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. All right, back to the action here at Lunenburg. Exciting Dixie Youth Baseball. I'm John Hart along with Robbie R. Tim on top of the White Elephant. And uh, Tim, you're up there and you're actually in the heat. Of course, you're in the shade. But uh, it's got to be pretty hard for these uh, pitchers being out there on that mound and oh, in the yeah. field. Yeah. Most definitely, you know, when they're coming in there between innings, very, very, very key that they're staying still. Well, I know you can try to drink plenty of water and trying to keep yourself cool, but the bottom line is it's hot out there. Yeah. Okay, here comes down the wind up in the pitch. That's one's going to be low for ball one. And I believe this is the uh, Deshaun Moore. It's up. One and no count. Here comes the pitch way high. I'll make it two and out. So two balls and no strikes. Two more. Who are still hanging right on in there. No tomorrow for either one of these teams. So they got to really play heads up baseball. And that one's going to be right down the middle. Beautiful pitch, actually, strike one. 
Two balls and one strike here. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. Here comes now the pitch. And that was going to be high. Ball three. Three balls and one strike. Don't help him out. Don't help him out. Don't help him out. Don't help him out. Hoover's saying, I don't need any help. Here comes the next pitch. And that was in there. Strike number two. And he basically was waiting on that one. Moore was waiting on that one all the way. And that brings up full count. Three balls and two strikes. So, Hoover looks, winds up, and that's going to be in there for ball four, and that will be based on balls. So, no outs, put more on. And that's going to be Jeffrey Goodwin now put Fields on deck. Here in the top of the second, nice close score. It's the way I like them. Yeah, he had a little bit of wind in the crowd, Mike. Hoover now winds up, and he shakes that one down there. That would be in there for a strike number one. No balls and one strike. Turn the crowd mic down just a little bit to keep that wind off of it. Here comes down a pitch and a nice swing and a miss. That's going to be strike number two. Jeffrey kind of turned around and hit the ground like he thought he struck out, but he actually did. He still got one more. No balls and two strikes. Hoover now winds up. Here comes the pitch. This time he hits the ball down third base, but it'll be foul ball, and he gets to come back and swing again. Well, sometimes you can stay into that box quite a while. And not really too good on the pitches when that happens. Hoover now winds up, pitches. Oh, and that one was high. And that ain't going nowhere. Strike number three. That's four strikeouts for uh, Drew so far. Yep, one, two, three, four. That's what I have. And that brings up Field with one out. Brings up Field with one out and for Lindenberg. Runner on first base. Here comes the pitch. High. Ball one. So Drew trying to... I keep calling him Hoover. Oh, boy. I'm going to get caught on that one. Here comes Hoover once again. Uh, I mean, Drew once again. That's going to be... Well, they're in bear. Ball two. Ball no strikes. Runner on first base. Drew now winds up. Here comes the pitch, and he hit him right in the back. That's a second. And that's going to put Fields. Moore will go to second. Now we'll bring up uh, Jack, uh, Jack, uh, Jeb Bur Buckman. So a man, runners in scoring position on second base for Lunenburg. Now batting number seven, Chris Fowler. Drew pitched the other day. Didn't hit anybody, actually. Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be high, ball one. One ball and no strikes. But you know, Tim, Drew looks like he's really getting hot out there. I he just needs to bend his back. He's leaving his back straight up, so he's leaving the ball up. Here comes the show to bunt. Everybody charges. Nice, <laughs> nice that didn't matter. That was a nice pitch in there for strike one. And that brings the count one ball and one strike. One and one now is the count. Here comes out a wind up and the pitch. That one's going to be low. Ball two. Two ball, one strike. Runners on first and second for Lunenburg. Here comes the windup from Drew. That's going to be outside again, ball three. And that brings up a three and one count. They don't want to walk anymore. Here comes the catcher now going to talk to Drew. The third baseman's going to truck on over to and kind of give him, uplift him a little bit. Hey, hey, hit the target. 
thing is about both of these teams, they they can look kind of soft in one just just at one time and all suddenly just explode on you like a bomb. And that one's going to be outside, and that's going to walk ball four. That's going to bring up Chris Fowler. And really, Lindenberg is kind of moving through their batting order. Top of the second, nothing, nothing. Now Lunenburg is threatening to score. One more walk will actually walk a run in. Drew now walks, turns around, throws the ball, ball number one. And you know, I think if you, the way these players are, I think if you were to give a, and then they call a timeout, they're going to talk to Drew, but I think if you give them a choice, rather to walk or to hit the ball, they would rather hit the ball. I think, I know when you talk to some of the best hitters that are, you know, that are participating, you know, in this tournament, they want to hit the ball. They want to run the bases around. They don't want to just be walked around. Although, they'll, some of them, they'll, they'll take, you know, they'll take a score or a walk any way they can get them. But nevertheless, you know, these guys come to play baseball. All right, guys. Come on, man. Drew's going to stay in there this time. See what he can do against Chris Fowler. All right, here comes Drew winding up with full count. Hey, nice pitch. And he did bend his back just a little bit that time. was able to thread the needle in there for strike one. One and one now is the count. Runners on first, second, and third. Swing and a miss, and there's strike number two. One ball and two strikes. Hey, get in there, get ready. One ball and two strikes. Here comes now, wind up pitch. Nice. And a nice strike out. Strikes out Fowler. And that brings up out number two, and that's going to bring up uh, Super Sub. Michael Mimic. I'll put Childress on deck. Paces are still loaded. Here comes a wind up in the pitch. He swung it out one, and there it's the right one. Drew now is starting to throw some strikes, Tim. Yeah. Here comes now the wind up and the pitch. That's outside, ball two. When, I mean, ball one, one ball and one strike. Boy, Fowler and Roach on first base are getting mighty close together. Remember yesterday they had a collision. Yeah, here comes now the pitch. Hard hit ball right up the middle. That's going to score one. It's going to actually score two. They're going to try him at home. They might get him. And he is safe. Ball got past catcher on that one. Yep. But they had him all the way, though, uh, uh, Tim. Oh, yeah. It, it, that was a great throw by White there at shortstop. Sorry, guys. That will still remain. Come on, Nick. Well, I mean, the, the score is going to now be a two-run lead for Lunenburg. Now, Maddie, two. Runners on second and third. Come on, guys. Good live, so here comes down the pitch, and there, strike number one. And I believe this is, I believe this is uh, Childress that's up. Chandler, Childress. Anyway, hard hit ball, and that one's going to go all the way to the center field. He will get underneath it and catch it with no problem. Wow, two runs scored, two men left on base, and... Maybe one air at the, right there at the plate. And the score of Lindenburg two, Crew Brookville, I mean, uh, Prince Edward Farmville, nothing. We shall be right back right after these messages. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people. Places, environments, 
and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can serve the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. All right, back here at Leonard Field. Here comes now the pitch from Hoover. This is going to be in there for ball one. Two to nothing right now. Prince Edward Farmville kind of trailing the Lunenburg All-Stars. All right, here we go. All right, Hoover now winds up. Here comes the pitch. And this one's going to be a chop to first base, and he going to be safe. Basically, Fisher. <laughs> and basically, Fisher had chopped one up and it dropped down right in front. But it, the way the ball bounced, uh, the first first baseman in there for ball one, and they're going to try to get him at first, and they don't. They actually hit him with the ball, but everybody's safe and okay. But the ball. Did not go foul, and he tried to tag him and couldn't make the tag. And guy made it at first base. Kind of a weird play, but ended up doing it. All right, Hoover now with his next pitch. That was going to be ball two, two balls and no strikes. So Fisher is, is on first base with no outs. Two balls and one strike. That was the last one with a strike now. And this is uh, Nate Dolan. Well, actually, no, it's not either. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong netball. It's foul ball in front of the white elephant. Uh, let me get this right here. Here we go. This is uh, Sandlin. Walker Sandlin, yes. Anderson. Drew is on deck. Nathan Drew, yes. Yep, Nathan. With an M. Yep. <laughs> Here comes a wind up in the pitch by. Here goes uh, Fisher down first, uh, second base. He will be up. Stand up, steal. No problem there. Yeah, they got all working finally. <laughs> Umpires will go ahead and switch positions. And in scoring position, but we, and we got no outs. Here comes the pitch. And that's in there for strike number two. Strike three, that's one out. Oh, okay. So we're going to put a strike out there. And that's one out. That brings up Nathan Drew. Nathan Drew would like to get a really good base in, drive that run in, and cut this lead down. Here comes the pitch. That was a changeup, ball one. That ball was a kind of a floater, and it was... Nathan, Nathan, a uh, pretty good hitter for the Farmville team. I think Nathan was, Nathan was waiting for that thing to drop, and it just never did, so he just let it go by yeah. for ball one. Here comes down a pitch. That was a zinger that came down there, and that's a swing and foul back, strike one. I do believe that Nathan was aiming for the fences that time. Well, it was a pretty good pitch to do, so maybe a little bit high, but... All right, here comes now the pitch. Hoover winds up and throws. And that's an air ball. Two, two balls and one strike, Robbie. I 
I mean, with a score only two to nothing, anything can happen. Yeah, this is still a very close game. Time run is at the plate right now. Hoover winds up, cocks that arm back and throws it. That be high. Three balls and one strike. Yeah, what's really placed Farmville behind the eight ball here is that they were not able to really do a thing in that first inning now. And now that uh, Lunenburg is taking a two to zero lead, it kind of puts the uh, momentum on their side. Here comes a wind up. And that's going to be ball four. And a great thing though, Farmville's making Hoover throw some pitches out yeah. here in this heat. That's going to burn out a pitcher fast. Johnson will be coming up. He plays right field for well, Prince Edward Farmville. I believe he had a uh, pretty good game uh, yesterday. Let's go, buddy. Here comes a wind up from Hoover and the pitch. Oh, this one's going to be low. And everybody will steal. They try to throw the guy out at third. Did not make it quite in time. A little bit too late. All right, one ball and no strikes is to count. Runners on second and third. For Prince Edward Farmville, they trail two to nothing. Here comes the pitch. Uh, that one's gonna be a little bit high, ball two. Farmville's doing the right thing, making yes, making are. Hoover throw some throws. Wait on those throws, wait for your pitch. You know, just make them, this heat now is gonna burn out pitchers. Pitchers fast in this league. Here comes now the pitch and the release now's from Drew. There. That's an it. Strike number two, one, I believe. One. 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 And you know, Robbie, I'm going to tell you, the strike zone seems like it gets tighter and tighter throughout the day with these umpires. I mean, you got to hit the bullseye for them to call it a strike. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Now it's two and two with one out. Yeah, it looks to me like Lunenburg is not going to, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Prince Edward Farmville is not going to swing that that bat until the until Hoover is able to throw a strike. And that one's going to be low for ball three, and that brings up another full count. And Tim, like you're saying, they're really chalking up the uh, the pitches for uh, Hoover. Yeah. You know what's coming. You got the heat that's in the play as hot as it is today. Tough strike zone, boy. The batter's almost got a, a huge advantage. Yeah. Usually that's not the case, but who's beating on? Somebody's beating on the fence with the crowd mic on air. <laughs> Dylan Johnson up the bat, of course. Full count situation for him. All right, here comes the pitch. It's going to be low. That and he lost the him. He will walk Johnson. That loads the bases up. Runners on first, second, and third, and that loads everything up. Not good. Yeah, yeah this is a rough situation to be in. This is a, the exact situation that poor Farmville had themselves in. Yeah. Yes, last night, and uh, Charlotte was just able to capitalize on it. Our play Osborne is up. He's a left fielder for yep. the uh, Prince Edward Farmville squad. And he's also batter number nine. They'll bat three of their subs, and then they come back to the top of the batting order. And that was right down the middle, strike one, nice strike, and a nice throw by Hoover. That was right in there. I would say you can't watch them go by, but I can't blame Prince Edward Farmer for waiting on this pitcher. I would too. Here comes down the windup. Only one out, runners on full for a second and third. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four base hit, and one run will come in. got to give good credit to the uh, not only uh, a nice the, hit by center, Osborne. Yeah, and the center field did a good job of containing that best yes. he could. Oh yes. If that would have got past him, or he would have tumbled that E, that would have been two runs coming in instead of just one. Farmville will pull within one right now. Two to one. Here comes down the pitch. This one's going to be low ball number one. And the thing is, the bases remain loaded, so a walk will tie this ball game up. You got to throw strikes. Got to throw strikes right now. When you throw those strikes, sometimes a batter makes hits. That's high ball number two. And I'm, Hoover's starting to throw a lot of pitches here. It looks like he's up to 32 so far. This is Gabe Jenkins that's up, super sub, as we like to call it here on the radio and on the videotapes and everything. Two balls and another strike now. 
Runners on first, second, and third. Here comes the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Two balls and one strike now to Gibbs. Or Gabe, actually. Gabe, Gabe Jenkins. Jenkins. Once again, we apologize if we get the names wrong. It happens sometimes. Here comes down the pitch. And that's, Ooh, oh, he kind of. Second strike. Yeah, yeah. kind of went for it a little bit too much. That brings up strike number two. I got to be honest with you there, Tim. That one looked a little low. Yes, it did. Well, so did the one before that. Two balls and two strikes. In a one-run ball game. Bases are loaded. Don't get any better than this. Hoover now looks, winds up, and takes aim. Pitches. And he I calls agree. him a strike three. And now the retire. No, it won't retire. Retire the batter. Second, second one down. That brings up Corbett Bowman. Like Bowman. I think I got it right this time. We kept on mispronouncing the other day. So we're trying to get it right today. That puts two strike out. I mean, two strike. I mean, two outs up on the board. Excuse me. Here at the top of the second, it's two to one in favor of Lindenberg. Ooh, the dirt. Here comes the pitch, way low, ball one. Credit, you know, kudos to uh, their Farmville. They're still keeping that same strategy, waiting until he throws a strike before he starts swinging. I feel sorry for Hoover up there. I mean, he's in a tough position right now. Oh, yeah. Here comes the windup. Here comes the pitch. This one's going to be a chop up. And he's hot the ball. Throws it to first base. Easily Barely, gets yeah, that's for close. That third and final out. Three men left on base, one run score at the, going to the bottom of the second. That's right, only to the bottom of the second. It is right now uh, two to one in favor of Lunenburg. We'll be right back right after this. Topper. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie, I feel great. She's really okay? What, are you kidding? No, not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. All right, back here at Lynn Hard Field. We have everything. We have a good concession stand. Come on down and get some of the great food there. We have <laughs> photographers, and we have great videos here that we're selling for only $20. Hey, come on by and talk to Jenny, which is... Uh, here taking all the orders between your artwork there on it. <laughs> She's trying to stay busy. Between the orders, there's not a lot going on. Uh, of course, Lunenburg here has a chance to increase their lead some. They are now at the top of their lineup with LJ Watson coming up, followed by uh, Josh Paytner and uh, Malik Foster, and finally, that in cleanup is going to be Ethan Hoover. All right, here we're getting ready to resume play. Top of three. Top of three. Let's see what Watson can do. Yep, top of the third. Wind up. Here comes the pitch. And it's going to be in there for strike number one. Interesting to watch Roach on first base for uh, Farmville. He'll put that glove all the way to the left, watch him when he gets ready to pitch. Isn't that something? I, good eye, good eye. But I guess that's pretty good, Tim. I've never seen that strategy, but that's oh, pretty yeah. good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what all uh, infielders are supposed to do is as that as that pitch is getting ready to be thrown, gloves should be down so they're in that ready position. One ball and one strike now. Here comes the windup in the pitch. This one will be high. Now bring the count two balls and one strike. Yeah, 
but it does seem like oh, you have headphones that are making noise, so I'm going to cut that down. There you go. Here comes a wind-up and the pitch. And that one's going to be in there for ball number three, three ball and one strike. Again, a tight strike zone. Now this is the all-star, so they do tighten that strike zone. They don't quite call the corners like they do in regular season, that's for sure. Here comes now, wind up and the pitch. And that one's ball number four. So, Pace hit by Watson the last time, but he ends up walking. Now bring up uh, Josh Paintner, and he is uh, one of uh, Aces. I think Paintner's coming up. That's what it says here. Oh, they're making a pitch change. They're going to put Roach in, bring Drew over to uh, first base. So as they're going to make that little bitty pitching change there, a little bitty, it's a big pitching change actually. We're going to take a quick time out. We'll be right back. It's 2-1 to one so far in favor of Lunenburg. We'll be right back right after these messages. 